Hey, soap lovers, I'm Steve Nash. And I'm Felicia, and this is our review of Soapbox. In Soapbox, players take on the role of directors who direct their cast and try to make their ratings go up. In the box, you'll find a colorful playing board where all the action takes place, a card holder for three of the types of cards in the game, a spinner to see what route one of your cast members will take, a bunch of cards for each location on the board, four families of different colors, and a pad of rating points which are like victory points. Here's how to set up the game. Place the board in the middle of the table and give the colored pawns, matching the households on that side, to each player. Shuffle their assets cards and give each player two of them. Place all the different types of cards in their location. In the household, place the family members on the stars which will correspond to them. The pregnant pawn is only used when the little girl becomes pregnant. You're now ready to start the game. There are three styles of games you can play. For this review, we will look at a four-player episode. Let me explain the board. The pass have a plus and a negative sign with arrows. On the spinner, you might roll a positive number or a negative number. This just means that once you hit a junction or start at a junction, you have to follow the plus or negative arrows depending on what you rolled. If you land on a spot with a card symbol on it, simply draw that card, read it out loud, and follow the instructions on it. If you land on a bad luck space, spin the spinner. On a negative 3 spin, that character is axed and will probably die. If you land on a good luck space, you spin again. On a plus 3, you get 5 rating points. When you land on a yellow junction, you will draw one card from each category in the card holder. These three cards will form a story. The time card will say something like this on it. And the star will tell you who is being affected. And the event will tell you what happened to that person. There can be 23,000 combinations and some of them can be really absurd, just like in real soaps. Now some of the cards will send you to different locations, like the hospital, jail, psych ward, or the courthouse. If a card sends you there, you start at admission and try to move around to land on the plus three escape square. If you land there and spin a plus three on your other turns, you can choose to let that person out from wherever they are. In these four locations, you might also draw cards and absurd things that might also happen to you. Some characters are sometimes sent to limbo. You know, like when you're following a show and for like three episodes one of the characters is not there anymore for no reason whatsoever. Like in Lost, when someone says, I'm going to get firewood, and he only comes back next season with the fire, while four or five people already died of hunger and some shit like that. Anyway, when you spin the spinner, you choose which member you want to move and in which direction, as long as you follow the plus or minus at the junction. If you land on a space with another person, then you draw a meeting card. If the two people match what is written on the card, follow the instructions. This might lead to pregnancy, death, limbo, one of the four areas, or just plain rating points. The best way to get points are for meetings, good luck spaces, and cards. Some cards will say, the owner of this asset gets this many ratings, which means exactly that. Just check who owns the asset and give them ratings for it. If you have enough ratings points, you can choose to bring back members from Limbo or from Death instead of playing your turn. It's a simple, fast-paced game with lots of humor in it and random events happening. There is some element of strategy when deciding where to move your pawn and which member to use on a given turn. If you're looking for a game you can play with people who never played a board game and want to show them that board games can be fun, then this is the game for you. This is not a game for those hardcore gamers out there. The rules can be a little confusing, but the rulebook has many pictures and examples which help in understanding them. They are planning on making 10 new versions of this game but for different themes, like action movies, reality TV, romantic comedies, etc. Kind of like what Monopoly does. The game feels very random, as the cards you draw might choose another player and give them the rating points instead of you, making your turn useless. We did not figure out what the U-turn space does, so it's basically going to be used for expansions or for variant rules. The game can only be bought from the website for now, so go check them out on SoapboxGames.net. We had a few laughs playing this game and recommend playing it with 4 players. We're giving Soapbox a 7 on 10. I hope the fantasy version of the game will be more strategic and less random, but with the same humor.